Hello and welcome. This is a uh, quick start tutorial to the route provider library. Um, so why why route provider? Uh, route provider is a two-way uh, web routing in F Sharp. Uh, so two-way it means we do both route dispatch and link generation, and uh, it also has type safety and better performance than some of the other offerings. Uh, so in this short video, we'll show you uh, how to install it, how to set it up. And if you want to follow along, you can go to this URL uh, to uh, see a, a sample where we're going to install this in Owen. Here's a, um, a sample Owen application. It's just a hello world. Um, so as you can see here, we're just uh, f here's the, the method that handles each request. And it's just very simple right now. It's printing out the method and the URI. And it's also just writing hello world. And how it's hooked up is at the bottom here where we just say webapp.start web app, and then we give it a certain URL. So let's uh, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Uh, so as you can see now we got we get a target invocation uh, exception. And this is because we, right now, we don't have permission to uh, host this uh, URL uh, or with this port. So we need to enter something in the console to give us uh, permission. So I have that uh, right under here. So you need to open a uh, terminal prompt and then enter this, and then it should work. So I'll show that now. Okay, let's try again then. Okay, so now now it's listening. So let's uh, let's see what happens now. Uh, so as you can see, we we're printing out here uh, what request was handled. So we just had a get request where it was getting the root and then also the favicon, and as you can see, it just prints out hello world. So let's say um, we want to go to a more complicated example. You usually have a lot of routes. Um, so I'm going to show how you can do that now with the route provider. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is install the library. Uh, it's available on NuGet. So you can just uh, open the package manager console. And then you can type install package. Uh, so now that everything is installed, uh, you just need to instantiate the uh, route provider. And I'll show you that now. So here I pasted in uh, some sample routes. So what we're doing here is we're defining two different routes. The first route is a uh, get route that starts uh, with projects, and then it needs a project, uh, the string. So this is it, this is going to capture the project. Uh, and then we need a, a comment segment, a static segment, and then we need, uh, need a comment. And then we're going to give this handler a name, and we're going to call it get project comments. Uh, next, we have a post route, and it uh, starts with projects, and then we capture project as a string again, and then we just have a end with a static segment uh, of comments. And this one we called post uh, project comments. You'll notice here that we have an output path here that we're providing to the route provider. And so here, here's where we're instantiating it. We're saying, uh, we give the type a name, which is going to be called my routes, and then we send in the routes, which is uh, the stuff up here. So this is our DSL for defining the routes. And then we're also giving it two arguments here. The first argument here is whether we want a generic input type, uh, and this one is if we want a generic return type. And so we just said yes to both, and then we're sending in the output path. So, so now that we've given the route provider this information, it, it will spit out that file. So let's try to see if that file exists now. So let's just add existing above our current file. 
and then we can see that we have my routes here. So now the squiggly that we had here uh, is gone. The default namespace and module name is just my namespace and my module. Um, but it's possible to change that. Oh, also notice that it, it's a dummy here. So the this is only providing a dummy assembly. And what it's actually doing is uh, writing to the file system. So that's how this type writer works. Uh, so now to actually use this uh, type writer, we need to instantiate a router that has functions that uh, that do what we want for each route. So I'll show an example of that. So to instantiate a router, um, what we need to do is for each handler that we've defined here, uh, we need to provide a function that'll handle it. So the first argument that we're going to give it is a context, which is an I O in context. This is just uh, how we're going to communicate over in HTTP. And the rest of the arguments are the ones that we captured for each route. So here we have, for example, a project ID, which is a string, and then a comment ID, which is a N64. And then in the actual body of this handler, all we're going to do is just write to the uh, response stream, we're just going to say you ask for project ID and then uh, comment ID. Uh, same thing for post, uh, this one only gets a project ID because as you see up here, it only captures one uh, path segment. And we're also giving it a not found uh, handler here. So this will, this is an optional thing as you can see it's a sum. So if you don't provide this then uh, the route provider will throw an exception when you dispatch and the route is not matched. So to actually make this uh, work with Owen, all we need to do is to dispatch a call to the router here. So instead of doing this, let's just say let's just do this. We'll say uh, router dot dispatch route, and then we need to give it the the input. Uh, type so we'll say we'll pass the context in and then let's pass in the method and the uh, path as well uh, so now let's try to run it and uh, see if this works um, so let's try the first route which is the get project comments and we'll say project slash foo slash comments slash one two three and as you can see, this hit the the first um, handler that we defined. So this string here is coming from uh, this handler here. Uh, we can also test the one for post, though we can't just do it with a normal get request from the browser. So we can try it uh, via uh, invoke web request in PowerShell. So now we'll hit the the last route, which is projects, and then project ID, and then comments. Uh, so as you can see here, we got a 200 OK response, and uh, the body is here. You asked for project foo. And so it's executing this handler. Uh, we can also try to do one where it won't match, just to see what happens then. So let's just try a bogus route. So as you can see, this one, uh, uh, we got the handler for post bogus, what was not found. It's still doing a 200 here, but that's just because we didn't specify that the status should be changed in the not found handler. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, on Twitter, my handle is Isaac Sky, and same with GitHub. This video is courtesy of fsharp.tv.